Hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. <laughs> All right, folks, it's early. It is 4.42 a.m. Friday morning, and we have a dilemma. I don't know what to do. River King Greg is always the first one here. He's not here. He's not answering his text. He's not answering his phone. We're all packed up. How long do you wait for your friend to show up? I don't know. What What are your thoughts, Kevin? Man, he's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got Anthony Barber, Mitchell Childers. What do you think, guys? You're the king. You call the shots. Oh, man, I'm getting no love. I defer to Mitchell. <laughs> so, so now, this is the first I've had to deal with this. The, we got a six and a half hour drive. We're supposed to leave ASAP. No answers on the phone, no text. I know he's been packed for two weeks. He's ready to go, but he's not here. What do you do? Oh, Greg, depending on what happens, and you, if you see this later, we love you, man. <laughs> it's Greg. He made it. Woo! Last time we talked, you said show at five. I guess someone doesn't partake of the group chats, do they? Um, no, but let me tell you, the group chats ding, 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 ding. <laughs> until 11 o'clock at night. When someone goes to bed at eight, yeah. Who oh, goes to bed at eight? eight. Well, first of all, <laughs> it's five o'clock. Uh, let's go to the group chat and I'll find this time. <laughs> Wednesday. At 2.07 p.m., that's when I say, let's meet at 4.30 and leave at 5. As per the group discussion, mostly I was a little sad because I thought my buddy Greg no. might not make it. No, and it was going to hurt me deep inside, but I'm, I knew it hurt him too. But he made it. Everything's good. We're the ones that told you Woo. not to leave yet. Whew. It's close. We jumped into the truck and headed south. We're headed to Macon, Georgia, and the Okmulgee River. I finally get a chance to get on the water with Mitchell Childers and Anthony Barber for an overnight trip. River King Greg is back in the fold, and I'm looking forward to meeting some new friends from Alabama. We made it. All right, now let me introduce you to the stars of the show world famous southern paddler dan truitt yes sir good to finally meet you great to meet you and uh it's gonna be fun yeah, it's gonna be fun moving right along the silent partner <laughs> wes jones good to meet you sir. how are you pete um first time meeting and paddling and then guys special treat verified authenticated and vetted by several friends as someone that does not know how to paddle. I mean, I mean a good guy. We got Crow. Good to finally meet you. Man, it's, I'm so excited, dude. I've been waiting for this day. I even got up early this morning. Yeah. And I got here two hours early. He's like, oh, I get to meet River King. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So let's load these boats and uh, go find a river. And the star of the show, my Alaska hunting bud. What's up, man? Trip. Oh. He is gonna help run our shuttle. All right, folks, we are at Fresh Air Barbecue and Brunswick Stew. Trip says this is the best barbecue on the planet. Looks pretty good. Looks like our kind of place. We're so confident this is gonna be a good trip, we're gonna eat before the trip. Right outside Macon, Georgia, Fresh Air Barbecue. Woo! I just saw on a t-shirt that this was voted Georgia's best barbecue. What do you think? Is it true? I think so. Yeah. Wes? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Yeah. World's best? Uh, well, I don't know. Um, and, uh, maybe for Georgia. It's the best <laughs> I agree with Wes. Good for Georgia. <laughs> and uh, who has the best barbecue? I mean, since you're not counting North I'm Carolina. Carolina the, you know, Decatur, Alabama. That's some good barbecue right there. That's Decatur? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of her. Decatur. <laughs> Fresh air barbecue. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, folks. Definitely worth a stop. If you're just north of, of Macon, you need to come in here. So, Whew. The barbecue was amazing. It is truly Georgia's best. 
fresh air barbecue in Brunswick stew. Tummies are full. We're ready to go find the river and start putting paddles in the water. So the dam, we're looking at the USGS scale or on the gauge there and the dam just below, the gauge just below the dam rather, it operates kind of some weird hours. It pumps up to like six something feet, then back down to 4.8 feet at midnight. So like they turn it on around two. I don't know what that's gonna do the flow. So we should have some flow when we start. Hopefully it's still manageable, but we'll find out. All right, folks, we are almost to the put-in. We're about to cross the bridge, and like I say, on the USGS gauge, they release out of this dam, like from one or two every day to about midnight, shut it off, and the water level goes up and down. They don't shut it off completely, they just reduce the flow. So, what does that level mean to us? We're not sure. As we cross the bridge, all our questions will probably be answered. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's not too high. Is Jasper County? Oh, that money! Beautiful. Look at that. We can make this work. Beautiful, clear water coming out of the lake. Just enough to make it fun. At least until they release the water. But shh, don't tell, don't tell the Alabama guys. I don't know. <laughs> back right down to the edge. This is River King grade. Now we're talking folks. So uh, warning, water subject to rise and become swift at any time. Be cautious if you enter the river. No houseboats allowed, Dan. The month leading up to the trip had been a whirlwind. As it happens sometimes, it seems this month had more than its fair share of life. And everything leading up to the moment of sliding into the river was a rat race. There was little time to plan the trip, work out logistics, and figure out what was going to happen. In some respects, we're just winging it. had a great crew, and no matter what happened on the river, I could tell this was going to be a fun trip. We had around 40 miles to the takeout. I had planned a 10 mile day today, 20 tomorrow, and 10 on Sunday. And in the back of my mind, there was that little looming question about how high this water would go when the dam released, and it would release. We'd have to figure it out. And so under a beautiful Georgia sun and perfect weather, we pointed our boats down river and took those first strokes to freedom. Oh yeah.
And as has happened so many times before, it only took about five minutes to feel totally relaxed and at peace. Before the trip, I was trying to describe this river to my friends. And I said I thought it was going to be the Hall River of Georgia. And I couldn't be any more correct. In fact, it almost felt like I was paddling a portion of the hall that I'd never seen before. It was like I was home. Two-handed toss. Yeah, right over like just. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, make it happen. Yeah. Uh oh, don't flip on that. Nice, man. All right, folks, we are 4.38 miles into our journey. I don't think it's possible to have better weather. Um, I'm hot. As far as the company, that's we can work on that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just want to say for the record, twice now I've suggested to Old Crow that he put the waterproof door on his GoPro, but he seems to think he's all good over there. And he'll get it tonight. I really hope this works out. We may have an instructional video later on why to paddle with the waterproof door on rivers. But uh, <laughs> he's a brave man, folks. Look at him. He's a rock star. A little bit, I'm a little bit ignorant, too. Anything to stop that noise flutter in his GoPro mic, you know. Yeah. Even if he has to sacrifice the GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. The first. Hello. Do you have another GoPro? 
No. Oh. oh. We soon found ourselves at Lamar Mill Shoals, a river-wide section of Class 2 and 3 Whitewater. We would opt for the stair-step ledges on the river left. Right of the island is a no-go. Just left of the island is the sportiest section, but with our crew of somewhat inexperienced paddlers, I figured the dry line might be the best line.
Speed up, Anthony! Speed up! Speed up! Keep your feet up! for a while did y'all see that right side oh right right up there where we came down the, that right side was looking good i was like oh we messed up that was a fun little section other talk to me how's it feel we're into turn three two tight got sideways swim into the wall put the ride on my seat anybody can boat it not everybody can swim it good stuff he's all good no worse for the wear fun little section and now we go paddle down the river and see who's next I mean what comes next <laughs> All right, folks, break time. How is the crew feeling? I feel great. I feel like great. Class five, six, what it was, was it? A, it, was a, it was an Alabama four. Alabama four? North Carolina two. Is that like a girl that's an Alabama four, but a Georgia six? It's very similar. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling, Wes? Thumbs up, baby. I love it. Mitchell? All in. Right on. 
Anthony, you look remarkably refreshed. How are you feeling? I, I feel wet. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Dan is slowly being converted to a skirted boat helmet paddler. How is it I go paddling with Pete, I end up in a skirt and a helmet. <laughs> and a big smile. He only thought he'd been paddling before. Wait till the 10 footer, he doesn't know that. <laughs> having I mean, a blast. Uh, we're having fun. He, uh, he has historically said he was not interested in getting on water requiring helmets and skirts and all this good stuff. But here he is pushing his personal boundary, yes, sir. deciding whether he likes it or not. And sometimes, sometimes you'll surprise yourself and you end up having a lot of fun. So That's right. the jury's out. We're not going to push him. We're just going to be sure he has the correct opinion when this is over. Well, <laughs> couldn't ask for better weather. Absolutely. Great pebble beach for a break. Can't ask for better than that. I had that ordered in. That was a really cool stretch of rapids back there. Don't know what is in store. I didn't really have time to do a lot of research on this run. I know there's some pretty good stuff most of the way. There's a dam somewhere. I don't know if we'll hit it today or tomorrow, but we are, we're having a blast. And as always, it's good to have the Dragon Slayer back. So, so far, so sleeves are wet, but the pants are dry. That's what we're after. <laughs> That's it. That's <laughs> All right, folks, we have a, uh, a very somber and momentous occasion. We'd like to award Anthony Barber as the newest member of the Longboat River King Swim Team Sticker Edition. There it is. Glad to have you on board, James. All right, folks, break time is over. It was a wonderful beach. It's turned out to be a pretty cool little river system we're on. And uh, I think the guys kind of figured out what this trip's gonna be like. Everyone's kind of getting in the groove a little bit. And uh, it's been like rapid after rapid with a little break in between. So it's really been kind of perfect. Um, sounds good right here again. Looks like a kind of a left right split on an island. And the left side looks a little sporty, a little spicy. We'll see if we can get through, see which way is better. But uh, having a blast. 6.34 miles so far. And let's see what this is all about. Turn you around. Keep paddling! Keep paddling! Yeah! Nice! Good shot, Greg! Paddle hard! Straighten out! Beautiful! Paddle! Nice! Good. Got it. Good line, Mitchell. Go, 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 go! Yeah, it's close, Dan! You gotta paddle! <laughs> it had been a perfect first day on the water, and the afternoon sun started hiding behind the trees. In the back of my mind, I was wondering when this wall of water would get here from the dam release. It hadn't gotten here yet. Not having seen a lot of campsites, we figured we'd take the first one we came across. I didn't want to push paddling in the dark until we figured out this river.
<laughs> I love it. It looks like mud, but it's mostly just sand. Hey Pete, I need a level spot, not too much undergrowth, no bugs, no spiders, especially. All right guys, we're home for the night. Found this little uh, low beach, got a creek coming in. And this is the only exit from the river that I've seen in probably solid three, four miles. So uh, the camp's not too bad up there. A little bit of a longer drag than we prefer, but you take what you get sometimes, so. We're gonna call it home for the night. And it's six o'clock, so that's pretty early for River King standards. On grasses, so I'd like to My gosh! What? He's coming towards me. <laughs> you good back there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Get you to swing. Hey. All right. oh. As far as campsites go on this sort of river, this was about as good as you can get. It reminded me of the deep river on the last night, a perfect afternoon sun, and a fantastic spot. Camp is set up uh, right here on the bank. Looks fabulous. There's my setup. I'm kind of sharing a tree with Kev. Got things charging. I brought the war bonnet, the winter dream, and hadn't brought it out since the French broad, but I'm in the snug pack uh, under quilts. I need to get the new um, synthetic stuff from UGQ. Chad, if you're out there, I need to get that synthetic. Um, but right now I'm in the snug pack. Too hot for the the down ones. But uh, Brad, old crow's over there. He's about What's set up? up, looking like a champ. And then uh, just kind of give you the, the lay of the camp here. Our beach is right out there. Really good place to get in and out of the river. And we're here on this little plateau. Um, kind of a lot, probably 20 feet lower than some of the high points and probably 10 feet lower on average than the, than the bank has been for the last several miles. So it came at a great time. We've made almost our goal. And it was, uh, just go ahead and take the site and call it a day. How are you feeling, Greg? Good. Awesome to have Greg back on the trail with us, the paddle trail. You look, you look like it's almost time to shut it down for the night if you don't know greg he is solar powered 100 percent he'll be up at five making a fire for you but he'll be down at five as <laughs> soon, soon as that sun sets down between the trees there that is uh, it folks that is it like anti-vampire yeah you know. but um yeah we got mitchell anthony uh wes all kind of rolling over here got good looking camps setting up looks like mitchell's preparing to keep all his heat in um it's a good looking tarp you got there man Thanks. what is that wahala. a wahala yeah, it looks good yeah cool campsite i'm happy with that that's as good as i could expect after seeing what we paddled through and wouldn't you know it right there at my tree is a river birch so if we needed to start a fire that almost never happens you never have one when you need it it's kind of a cool little spot it's pretty uh, did you come up with some ice cream? Oh, here you, here you go, Dan. Got... Dan gets to eat the ice cream. <laughs> we got you some ice cream, Dan. All right, let's see. Uh, not quite what I had in mind, but um, oh, well, I mean, yeah. you, no, he did pull out some ice cream. He did. He 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 delivered. He, he delivered. So. We got I mean, the camera's running. Okay, so uh, let's see here. What's oh no, no, just no, rip no, it no, open. No. Oh no, and just chuck it down. <laughs> yeah, you just open it and eat it. You sure, no, you gotta put you water gotta in it. No. no. Oh, come no. on. No, there's no water in that. Read the directions, man. 
<laughs> what like fun is there in that? Kind of thing. I want to see like a man-sized bite. Like a... Well, ice like, cream sandwich! Yeah, like yeah. ice cream sandwich you don't dude. put ice cream sandwiches in water. That's weird. I mean, maybe in Alabama, but not <laughs> <laughs> no where we're from. Look at that, man. That is nothing but love. That is... That needs water. No. <laughs> no, you really just eat it. It's like eating a cookie. You just eat it? You yeah. just eat it. We eat ours. Let me know if it has a cold sensation. Let me see. It says, <laughs> ready to eat, no drip, no mess. We've had them before. They were wonderful. <laughs> Not even kidding. You want me to eat it? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh. I mean, Greg got that for you. Oh, is it <laughs> as good as it looks? <laughs> Tell me that. Is that the world's best ice cream bar? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the worst either, actually. <laughs> it does, so, it does it? taste like a it yep. tastes like ice Would cream bar. Would you describe yep. it as eating vanilla flavored styrofoam? Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> that's, it. That's, that's what we came up with. Yeah. Yeah. Except it's a little it. harder than styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just sounds so good. We're gonna be. <laughs> For those of you at home wondering how Dan keeps up this uh, amazing physique, it's <laughs> freeze-dried ice cream bars, Riverside. <laughs> the water in the food is what's making you overweight, folks. Just take the water out and you're good. I'm just going to break off a piece of this okay. cardboard. Careful, don't hurt your fingers. Oh my God. Look <laughs> at that. Anybody up? <laughs> it needs water. <laughs> it's terrible, folks. It was an evening spent telling stories and laughing and wondering what tomorrow would hold. The new guys were like old friends we had known our whole life. And the river felt like home. It was perfect.